The year is 1619, and I've just escaped execution at the hands of my own king. I might have died in peace, but for the burning need to clear my name. Destiny has brought me here, to the edge of human exploration. Some call this place the New World. The Romans called it Mars. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I purchased Jamestown as part of the Humble Indie Bundle number four. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the way now and declare that Humble Bundle the best ever. After playing a couple of the games that I had not yet played, including Jamestown, what an amazing bundle, what an amazing value that is. If you didn't purchase that bundle, in the comments below, please leave your physical address so that I can come to your house and slap your face with a glove because you missed a major, major bundle and an amazing deal. Uh, Jamestown, as you could see from my little dramatic interpretation of the intro, is set on Mars in 1619, and somehow there are spaceships, and the British have colonized Mars, and the Spanish have teamed up with the Martians to attack the colony of Jamestown. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit odd, but it's one hell of a game. So uh, we've got, uh, I've played the game a little bit. I, I, there was a Steam achievement for the holiday and I could not resist that. So uh, I played the game quite a little bit and I got a good feel for it. If you look down here at the bottom, these little uh, colored chiclets, these represent the difficulties on which you have completed any given level. Uh, there are, there's a shop, as you can see here, ye old shoppy. And you can use money that's earned in game to unlock new ships, new modes, etc., etc. So I have unlocked the uh, the charge ship, the beam ship you get automatically. So uh, let's see. Oh yes, this is reminding us here. There is some DLC for uh, for Jamestown if one is interested in such things. Uh, this game is a uh, well, technically I suppose it's a bullet hell shooter, a shoot 'em up. Uh, it's really in the same genre as games like Scorgasm and Arcadia, but it's not a dual stick variant. It is actually just a traditional uh, side to side fire your cannons as a hell ton of stuff comes at you. So uh, you'll see what I mean. I mean, you, you're going to know the format of this game as soon as we get started. So again, let's uh, let's assist the British colony of, of Jamestown on Mars in attempting to push back a Martian-led Spanish invasion. It just, when it comes out of my mouth, it just, my mouth feels the, those words coming together and my mouth just says that's ridiculous, but we're going to go ahead and give it a go because plot be damned, this is one hell of a game, and honestly, I think the plot is uh, is fun and funny and uh, quite intriguing. I like this sort of alternate history stuff where somehow there's technology. Yes, so it, uh, it is the war upon the Eastern Front in which a settlement is ravaged by botanical Martians loyal to the Spanish and a villain appears. So, uh, yeah, here we go. Moving side to side, shooting things. Got our uh, red coats here. <laughs> coming to the defense of the colony. Our fields are ablaze. Uh, music is amazing in this game, and uh, you can see the classic 2D pixel style. Uh, just absolutely love it. Uh, you do have just a little bit of leeway with uh, being shot in this game. Uh, you can be shot only, you can be killed only by being shot in the center of your body. Uh, so the game here is encouraging me to press vaunt Vaunt is uh, a little bit of a special mode. It's a defensive shield as well as a score multiplier that you can pop out. So uh, let's go ahead and vaunt here. Vaunt. There we go. Nice. So we're multiplying our score and we are shielding ourselves from damage. A very nice thing. And uh, that little, uh, all these little coins, these little uh, nuts of gold that I'm collecting are part of Vaunt. 
and the meter in the upper left hand corner which is slowly expiring is that vaunt meter oh goodness those guys i didn't even know those guys shot at you <laughs> that's your vaunt meter and uh, while that is active you're getting the bonuses of, of vaunt so uh yeah i don't know that guy's a little too close for comfort there we go vaunt ha ha and uh, this giant beam is my special ability. The different varieties of ships all have special abilities. Uh, this is the beam ship, so it has the beam special ability. And uh, yeah, this is a charming game, quite frankly. I mean, I, I really, really enjoy it. and uh, I can't say enough about it. Um, you know, maybe those guys don't shoot on lower difficulty levels. I put it on legendary uh, just because I had already played so much um, on lower difficulties. So uh, maybe those guys don't actually shoot on the lower difficulty levels. Alright. Come on. Oh, I got some kind of achievements. And again, it comes in very handy, that ability to sort of skirt damage. You know, I can get sort of slightly hit by an enemy. Uh, by a projectile. Had to vaunt there to avoid death. Sometimes you just gotta vaunt. That's what they say, right? The kids they say sometimes you just gotta vaunt. Oh lord, yeah, this is much more bullet helly now. Oh, okay, let's kill some stuff so that so much isn't shooting at us. That would help. Oh my lord. Okay, okay, I am using the Xbox controller. Uh, I frankly, I did not even attempt to play this game without it. Uh, seemed just a bit odd to even to contemplate such a thing. So I got my vaunt in place here, and we are coming up on a boss. The traitor prince, overmind to the Martian rebel forces. Uh, quickly, I'll point out, if you take a look at his uh, energy bar, you'll see in the center it has a little, uh, a little divider. And basically that divider is a change in how he behaves. And those will be on other bosses, and they'll actually be more than one sometimes. And uh, as I say, that is just a change in how that particular boss is going to behave. He's going to start to have some kind of new mechanic, or uh, change his, his posture or his style in some way. So you can always kind of look forward to those and sort of plan those accordingly. Oh, I got a vaunt. I had to vaunt. Okay, and I'm going to... Ooh, okay. This guy is very tricky as he, uh, when he makes his change, and he takes a whole hell of a lot more damage, or he needs to take a lot more damage. Come on. Oh. Oh. That whole stuff going through the middle of you mechanic, like sometimes you're just not quite sure that you've got it right. It is very, very unnerving sometimes because <laughs> very often you just have a, a half a, a, a an inch of screen real estate to make your dodge in all right all right all right there we go all right let's kill this mofo all right we're about to change over to his alternate attack stance now here we go there it is he goes all red and he does that sort of business that insane looking business and again you know this is a traditional sort of bullet hell game you know you just you just gotta make do learn how to how to dodge it and sometimes you do need multiple uh, multiple passes on a boss to sort of uh, really learn his his little tricks oh this is the tough I hate this little oh killing me Oh. Okay, we're going to vaunt here in just a moment. Let's go ahead and vaunt now. Vaunt it up. Yeah. Let's finish this bastard off. Here we go. Ah. Uh, so close. Let's go ahead and vaunt. Finish you off, bastard. The traitor prince. And there you have it. I mean, that is Jamestown. An amazing title. I mean, 
can you just imagine? Look, I am legend. I got an achievement of some sort. I guess because I, I completed this level on achievement. Henceforth, you shall be known as the credit saver. Whatever that means. So, yeah, there we go. That is pretty much what this game is. Only imagine that it gets a thousand times harder. Yeah. So, uh... You just progress through to the next few levels and you continue playing. I mean, it, it's this game is just, it is straightforward. It is amazing in its style. Its music is fantastic. If you did purchase the Humble Bundle, uh, you got the soundtrack for all the games. So you got the Jamestown soundtrack included. Um, I just can't say enough good things about this game. I mean, this isn't, again, so many of the games that, that we play here on the channel that I play for you guys, these aren't your 100-hour epics. They're not your, your Skyrims. They're not the games that you're going to pay 60 bucks for and spend weeks of your life playing. You're going to pay, uh, you know, 10 bucks for this game at full price. Uh, you're going to find it on sale very frequently for $2.50 or $5, and you're going to have a hell of a good time, and you're going to be able to come back to it. This game has co-op. Uh, I am not, I will be honest with you, I'm not sure if it's local or internet co-op. I imagine it is local only, uh, just due to the uh, starting screen. But even that is such a throwback and such a refreshing thing. I've said in a previous video uh, that local co-op is often something that can be easily done, but a lot of games just don't do it. Um, you know, that's something that's super easy. I mean, just give the option to play local co-op. Uh, it extends the life of a game. It makes a game into a party game. Uh, you know, I know that I would have, uh, you know, ha if I had any friends anymore who actually came over and uh, came to my house, because just to let you guys know, that sort of stuff stops after you turn 30. Uh, you know, so get in all your fun times with your friends now because you have kids, wife, family, responsibilities, and all of a sudden you just don't have time to hang around and play video games with your buddies. So, uh, you know, get all that out of your system now. But this could, this would be a game that I would definitely do that. You know, come over, let's, let's hook up a couple of controllers, man, let's put this on the big screen, and let's just go to town on Jamestown. Ugh. So instead of showing you another level in the uh, progression here, I'm going to check out this bonus level thing because I haven't even looked at that myself. Okay, bonus levels available. Stave off vengeance for 60 seconds. Okay, survive for 15 seconds. Get to the point requirement within 40 seconds. These are definitely some challenges. All right, let's try this one here. Stave off vengeance for 60 seconds. I don't even know what that means. Oh, all right, here we go. I am fully and totally prepared to just be absolutely destroyed. I'll show you guys the charge ship here. I really like the mechanic with the charge ship. It's a lot of fun. As you might imagine, it charges up. Stave off vengeance for 60 seconds. Oh my lord. All these things be shooting at me. So, uh, yeah, as you kill things, you charge this ball at the front of your ship. And uh, once it's fully charged, you can fire it. Oh, good lord. Vaunt. Oh, no, 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 no. You, you people shall not... Oh. 42 seconds. Let's try again. 60 seconds is all I have to survive. I just got to... I got to be a little more deliberate in my movements. Come on. Take that. Oh, no, no. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm saving this vaunt for, like, the most opportune moment. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Wow. Alright. Yeah. Part of me wants to think that changing ships would make a difference, but honestly, I just don't think it's going to. Let's play one more pass at this particular mission, and uh, then we're going to call it quits, guys. I hope you are seeing Jamestown. As I'm uh, starting to say in my videos, especially uh, my videos about games like uh, uh, games from the Humble Bundle and that sort of thing, you probably already own this game. Let this video serve as reason to actually install it. You know, I, I, I'm kind of preaching to the choir anymore with these games. 
uh, because they have been, some of the, these are so easy to obtain. Um, okay, is this counting up or down? Oh my god, that counter's counting down. No, 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 no. I don't like that one bit. So the time I thought I survived 42 seconds, I actually didn't. Is this timer going slower? It really seems like it's... Oh my lord, oh my god. Oh, did I just do that? Oh man, I cannot even... Whoa, do, 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 do. All right, all right. I'm dodging bullets like a professional bullet dodger. No, 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 no. Cornering myself here, that's not a good idea. I really need a vaunt right now. Really, what I need is a vaunt. What I would like to have is a vaunt, please. But I need something in front of me that I can shoot. Oh no. Oh lord, I need a vaunt. Oh, maybe not. Uh, I'm gonna make it! Oh yeah. Fireworks. Ah, uh, yes. That is the appropriate celebration for my success. Many pixel fireworks. Awesome. So yeah, there you have it. Those are the challenges. Uh, I guess I got a star. So uh, I suppose I would want to do better in future passes. Uh, but yeah, guys, this is Jamestown. Uh, it, it, is a, it, it is a simple game. It has a lot of uh, potential. Uh, you know, it comes to us from... from um, oh, what the hell's the name of the, uh, the company? I can't even freaking remember now. Okay, well, it's probably appearing on your screen right now because I'm such an idiot that I can't remember the name of the uh, of the guys who did it. Anyway, it's three guys. They're from Philadelphia, and uh, I really like their style. Um, I, uh, I look forward to future games. This seems to be their only current title. Uh, with the care that they've taken with this game, the level of detail, I really look forward to their future work. Uh, so they're definitely on my map. But again, their name escapes me at this very moment. So... Uh, how do I... Okay. I was I was caught in a... Alright. Purchase gunpowder, treason, and plot. Alright, so there you have it, guys. Jamestown. It is 1619, and you are a man in a spaceship trying to fend off a Martian invasion from the Jamestown colony on Mars. That sounds perfectly reasonable. Alright, guys. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.